Uh, it's seven minutes to eight now. A club which helps support older people in Mid-Devon and Wellington has been given a huge cash boost as recognition of how much it's helped people during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Young at Heart Club has received nearly £8,000 from the National Lottery Community Fund, which found the work that they're doing inspiring. After lockdown, their day services weren't able to run, but that didn't stop those behind the club from helping. They launched what they call Chit Chat Sessions to help club members stay in touch. And it meant, meant that they provided 90 hours of relief from loneliness and isolation. Have a little listen to this clip. It's a one chit chat. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching the television this morning and seeing other people struggling a bit. I think I've got it with jam on it. There it is, here, Andy. Have you got a nice joke to tell us? We've missed it. I was singing a song the other day to myself. It goes, in Scarlet Town, where I was born. Silly blighters. Bloods <laughs> 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 <Blood> and <Derek. laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Didn't know you could sing, Derek. I, I think when we all get back together, we'll have to set up a little... Uh, well, let's talk to the chairman of the Young at Heart Club, Lloyd York. Lloyd, listening to that makes us smile. So it's working all around, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic, Laura, isn't it? I'll tell you what, what you just heard there is just a little clip bit of the sort of atmosphere we have at our club when it's open. Sadly, we've been closed since the 70th of March due to this pandemic. But it was most important that we kept in touch with our club members who really, at the end of the day, are isolated lonely and uh, they came to us for comfort uh, and of course that was snatched away from them so we had to think of a way of keeping in touch and the chit chat session was the perfect solution as evidenced by that clip well it's been a lifeline to people hasn't it oh it really has it really has um well when you think about it um, prior to lockdown um, people really didn't understand what isolation was and suddenly mm. everyone was put into the position where they were isolated and they were thinking of getting this box sets in and stocking up with food, taking up gardening. Mm. Uh, but they had the advantage that after lockdown, that's it. But those who lived with isolation and loneliness prior to it have got to carry on with that after the lockdown. It's not just a short term thing, this is long term. People will be living with isolation for the rest of their lives. And that's why the Young Hut Club was founded to tackle this. And I, I think for that clip, they were doing a rather good job. <laughs> I say so, I say so. How did you feel then when you found out that you were awarded some cash? Well, it was a huge boost for us because what it's done is enable us to continue the chit chat session for several months, which unfortunately, this could be the situation as it stands as we deal with vulnerable people. Um, so at least we can keep in contact with them, make their lives happy, give them something to look forward to every week. We have up to a dozen or more people join us on one of these chit chat sessions. Um, but the, the key element for setting up chit chat was a lot of our members live in rural surroundings and uh, a lot, not a lot of them have good internet access. So we have to think of an easy option and a simple option. The easiest thing for an older person to do is to pick up the phone and dial a number. And that's all they have to do. They dial this single number and it's free phone, so it doesn't cost them a penny, because now, thank God, it's funded by National Lottery. Uh, and they can speak to all the friends they know at the club and have a good old laugh. As, as you heard from Derek, and he's the right character, he's wonderful. <laughs> he, he comes out with limericks and everything else as well. So we have a good laugh. And that, isn't that important? You have something to look forward to, and you hear familiar voices and have a good old chit chat. It's fantastic. It is, and I assume as well that the conversation can get a bit more serious at times as well, because a lot of these people have got the same worries and the, the same fears. So knowing that others are going through the, the same thing as you, it's reassuring. It is, it is. But uh, I think one, one key element of the, the, our Young at Heart Club is we're positive. We try to steer away from these things that might drag them down. Mm. If, you, if you start talking about the sad issues in the world, it affects them. They want to be divorced from that. They want to be taken out of that zone, in the isolation zone. So we steer clear of that and we try to think of happy topics and have happy games like Yabo, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a form of bingo. Uh, we get limericks, we tell jokes, we share stories from the past, which are happy stories. I think maybe I we think could all learn something from this, actually. We well, need to remain you know. positive. Everyone yeah. needs to remain positive. I think Young at Heart Club is one of the most positive day services out there. We started from five club members per week 
and we have about 50 attendances per week before shutdown. And that's because we have fun. And, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the key element, fun. Is there a way that other people can join in with this now? Because if somebody's listening to this and thinking, this is what I need in my life, what's the, what's the best thing they can do? Well, the best thing they can do really is to go onto our website, which is the Young at Heart Club dot co uk and there's a contact button then click on there and they can fill in some information so if they want to join our club they're more than welcome we're always looking for volunteers naturally so when we reopen but um that'll be the best bet but this is primarily for our members because we didn't want to desert them when mm -hmm. you close that door on the 17th of march you don't want to leave them behind you have to keep in touch we worked so hard as a little group together to tackle them in this isolation we had to maintain contact but anyone we always welcome new members so just go on our website, youngatheartclub.co.uk, click on the contact tab and just send in a little inquiry. We'll wow. be delighted to hear from anyone. Well done to all of you for making us all smile this morning. Lloyd York, chairman of the Young at Heart Club. Gordon's listening to that as well. It's lovely, isn't it, to hear people having fun? <laughs> I love that. You've got to be positive. And it was interesting, Laura, hearing Lloyd say that the club was shut down on the 17th of March. Four days before that, I was out of the country. Um,